Hello there card makers, it's Sari here again. Today I'm going to make a card with this big Jim, Tim Holtz alterations big die from Zizix. It's called Fanciful Flight and I just wanted to share with you something that I discovered today. In order to be able to uh, punch out the butterfly's both wings that go on the other opposite side, you need to, you know, um, first you can just punch it the regular way. You just turn the paper over and you let it run through your cuttle bug or whatever. But in order to get the other wing, you actually need to turn the paper over so you can run it through because the wings go opposite ways. So otherwise you just end up with two wings at the same side and you can't really make them work. So you need to do that for both of these. So you need to cut them twice and the other, um, the other time actually you need to turn the paper over. So, I mean, that's a good tip from me. And I'm going to make a card with the wings here. I have used papers from... I'm not sure if I've got the label here. But these are some leftover papers that I have used uh, for the under part of the wings. And then I've just used some regular black uh, cardstock. And the stamp here comes from the greeting farm. Ha ha ha, no surprise there. And this one is called Cadolania. And I just love her, she's so cute. And I'm going to make an easel card, and that is no big surprise that either. And I decided to make an easel card just because this turned out to be quite big and I wanted it to fit on a card. And I just don't like making regular cards. So I want to make some kind of a special fold anyway. I'm also using a piece of corrugated paper here and I have inked the edges and just a little bit over the top as well. And um, I think I'm ready to get started. So first off I'm going to glue this one down. And I have also used some beautiful paper here from, I think it's DCWV, I mean die cuts with a view. And um, it's sort of glittery and uh, dry embossed. Or well, should it perhaps be glittery embossed, I'm not sure. I'm just going to put that one there and I have prepared this Caralania slash butterfly with some double sided adhesive foam tape. And I'm just going to wait just a second before I assemble this one. In order to make an easel card, you need a piece of cardstock that measures uh, 6 inches by 12 inches. And then you're going to fold it at 6. So you get a half card, and this is what I would call just a regular card. But I'm sort of sick of making this, so I want to give it an extra twist. So what I'm doing is I'm folding it yet once again at 3 inches. And then I'm making sure that uh, it sort of looks like a tent or whatever there. And you should always remember, to, when you're going to adhere this to this cardstock, you shouldn't put glue on all of the back side, because then it would just stuck, um, be stuck there on the front page. And so what you're going to do, you're just going to put glue on this half part down here. I have had that happen to me a couple of times, but I have forgotten about that uh, thing with the easel card. And then all you do really is just to mount it down here. Make sure you've got a nice frame to the paper there. And now you're ready to start making something to the inside in order to make this one stand on its own. So I have prepared that. Uh, I have used a piece of beige sort of paper. And I have worked with these stamps from Hampton Art. Clear stamps. I just love clear stamps. It's so easy when you can see where you actually stamp it. You don't need any stamp a magic things or anything like that. I mean, I just love this. So I have used this corner stamp here, which is smile, giggle, chuckle, grin, happy, laugh and so forth. And I have continued using this laugh out loud stamp right there. And then I turn it around and I stamp this giggle, the sound of happy. And there was a heart at the end of that. And I stamp them in brown just to keep it cohesive with the stamp and the butterfly wings. But I have also made a centerpiece to this because otherwise I wouldn't have, wouldn't have a stop there. So that stamp also comes from this set and it's, it has a meaning or declaration for what giggle actually means. 
so I have uh, just taken a piece of corrugated paper there, uh, chalk or chalked or ink the edges, just make it a little bit rustic. And then I'm going to put it sort of straight, so I'm getting a line here. And when I'm gluing this one down, I can actually glue it down completely. I don't have to worry about half measurements or anything like that. Just glue it down. Just make sure that those glue parts are hidden underneath. And then I'm just going to put it like so, so I get a nice frame to it. And then I'm ready to just put that card up like that. And this is quite um, quite nice actually. Perhaps I ought to have put it just a little bit higher, so I'm not going to hide that stamp under there. So that's a good tip for you. I hadn't really tried it out before, so... Luckily this tape is sort of removable for a bit. And um, so you can actually have the chance of making the corrections needed. So, I mean, this one is so much better, isn't it? You know, now you can see the stamp and there's some sort of a room um, or just a little bit of air around it. If I wanted to, perhaps I could do something here, but I'm just thinking of perhaps leaving it, leaving it clean like that. So now it's time to assemble this butterfly, Cardolania. And I just love making the greeting farm and the Tim Holtz things work. And this is the card so far. I'm thinking of keeping it quite simple in the front as for a change. I had thought of putting these stamps from another Hampton Clear, Clear Stamps set, uh, which had a friend's theme on it. And... Um, but I'm not sure because these are so big and I just don't want them popping up here and there because best friends forever, all right, that could be nice. But I'm not sure if I want it to look scattered like this. I sort of like the simple and clean look for this one, so perhaps I'll just stick to it. So there you have it, Cadolania with Tim Holtz's uh, fanciful flight butterfly stamp. And what I have done, I've actually just sort of bent these wings upwards just to give it some definition. So there you have it. Don't forget to smile, giggle, chuckle and grin. Laugh out loud if you want to. And giggle is the sound of happy. And that's me signing off. Until next time, bye bye.